I was in a position where I was working full time, um, at the same time managing um, a roster of three acts, you know, doing kind of like 10, 10 hours, 11 hours a day, having to kind of do my typical seven hours a day for um, my current job. But then also on top of that, I was working, you know, three, four hours a day to work specifically on my artists. And he knew that I was at a point that was gonna, that I really needed a little bit of um, financial um, investment. My, my honest opinion is just make sure that it's it's at that right point for you and your and your career trajectory. Whether uh, this is going to be the thing that makes you go from being a part-time manager to a full-time manager, uh, potentially, or or if if you're at a stage where you just feel you need that sort of little bit of extra support. The learning part of it was the by far the most important and I think that needs to be why you want to do this course. You, you shouldn't be applying just because you want to get some money, that's a benefit obviously, but the main reason you should want to do this course is to learn because it will literally change everything. I'd already had a background in working across events, working within media, working within brands um, as a promoter, but I felt that I could really benefit by the le the yeah, the support, the but the educational support as well as as much as um, the financial support. Clearly, it's a very competitive um, program to to try and uh, apply for, and I, I think it's um, testament to to um, how good the other managers are and what they've achieved in their career is uh, how really great the the group is. I actually, I actually did the video um, just at home. I made sure I had my best shirt on. Just did it in a in a very simple environment with a friend. Set up a camera and just reeled off the questions and, and just tried to make it more of a conversation. I mapped out um, the key points that I wanted to kind of get across about my artists within that video. So it was authentic and it didn't feel scripted or um, false. It was just quite quite real. So. Yeah, I wouldn't put too much pressure on yourself for the video. It's not going to be massive. It's not going to be shown to the world. It's just something that's going to get you to the next stage. Put across your personality and your passion. Um, I think I that's how I always kind of deal with my artists and my business is just always trying to show like how excited and passionate I am about what we're doing and what we're planning to do, um, and like kind of having that vision and also just speaking really enthusiastically about everything. I think like coming to this program with. A lot of energy um, and like feeling really positive about it um, is like the right way to go. The MMF supported my decision making and my awareness to management which would then instantly have a positive effect on the artists that I manage when they were also at crucial points in their career. That was a really great exercise and so even if like someone doesn't get the funding um, it's such an amazing exercise because I think as artist managers we're always thinking about the businesses for our artists and we're kind of quite selfless in that respect, um, especially when we're independent and that was a really good opportunity for me to look at like what I wanted to do, what I wanted to achieve for me and my business. So I, I had to present here was my sort of three to five year uh, business plan, the trajectory, um, some targets and ambitions for what, what I'd like to achieve and in that time frame and just really explain this is where I'm at as a manager these are the points that I want to get to here are my clients here's their music these are the partnerships that we already have in place be completely honest so really think about what it is that you want to improve um, within yourself as a manager how you want to develop as a manager how you see your artist developing um, so that you can be completely clear in your business plan. This year especially has taught me, starting from that business plan, is okay, how do I want my future, my next two, three, four, five years to look? Before it got to a stage where I sent it over to the MMF, I'd had maybe up to around eight, eight rounds of feedback from a couple of people. I specifically targeted someone who was, who, who was working in management but had been we had maybe three, four years experience um, and then ensured that it was as tight as possible. So I sent it to uh, a teacher to kind of ensure that, yeah, it was as strong as it could be. 
for me, it's been something that I've been able to look back on, been able to look back at my plan at the beginning of the year to see where I am in terms of um, progression. Are, am I fitting in with where I thought I would be financially? Is my artist still going along the same trajectory that we had planned originally? So I think the business plan is um, something that I would spend a lot of time on and really hone in on. It really makes you dig down deep and I think um, as detailed as possibly you can be, it's not only good for the application but it's also just really good for your own kind of like mental well-being and, and like thinking ahead to the next chapter in your own life regardless of the funding. The funding is obviously fantastic but honestly this year it's given me such an overall vision for like what I want the, my business to be in the next like 10 years where I want it to go.